gonna try to explain how I do my my solo bases the basic like two by one I'm going to try to explain how I do my my solo starter base it's nothing crazy I would recommend having some sort of like flat part of land to like start it with like somewhere like this is perfectly fine so we're gonna start off with the basic like two by one kind of have it a little lifted doesn't really matter too much. We're just gonna have it upgraded to stone. You know, just do the basic little two by one. When I put the TC in my base, I always put it up against the wall with the uh where the doors are at. So whichever wall I have my my doors is where I'm gonna put the TC at. You just wanna put it how you normally put a TC. Just try to have it as close to the wall as you can. Leave that little pixel out so you can get it as close to the corner. And there you go. That's pretty much the uh the basic setup for the two by one so normally where i place my sleeping bag at whenever i'm building my base i always put it kind of like right here sometimes i'm gonna have to like change it but i try to keep it right here in the, the at the door um uh, kind of up against the wall like so you don't want to have it too close to the door you want to have like a little gap because if if not, when you go to upgrade it later, if you don't already have like a sheet metal door or if you want to upgrade it to armored, you're going to have to pick up your bag later. So you want to leave a little gap so you're not blocking this little doorway. And on top of that, we're just going to have a little straight like line of large boxes. So just try to get them as, as uh, close to the wall as you can get them. I don't got to be 100% perfect. going to have about like three right there for now. And I'm going to put uh, a small box right here. This is normally how I do it at first is just have a small box going in this area right there. And then you want to put your uh, your workbench right here. It should just fit. And then you have a little bit room to, uh, you know, get around right here. Now, as far as your furnaces go, I would, uh, I normally try to put three right here. You just kind of got to wiggle them in, like, the right spots. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get one right here. This this is why I said sometimes you have to, uh, move your sleeping bag. Uh, sometimes you got to just wiggle it in there. That might be the best you can get it. And then just put another one right here. So you got three furnaces right there. Um, still got room to go in and out. It's gonna get a little crowded like over time like i said sometimes like i said you might have to move your sleeping bag if i do have to move my sleeping bag then i will uh normally right here instead normally where i put it afterwards then i can put like a campfire or something right here put a small box right there if you want to put a small box right there then you can put um i believe like another small box right here i'm not too sure if you can get two in you can put like uh a campfire or something right here but yeah this is pretty much kind of the layout for now eventually like over time over time when you upgrade to another workbench like let's say the level two workbench go to the level two workbench wherever it's at you just want to go the same route as you did with the first one this time you can have another small box Put another small box right there then you can still reach it once you filled up all this loot right here then we're gonna make our little shelf you're gonna need more space after that you don't want to make that stone make that twig and then you want to make a half wall right here and then you want to make the floor and then on top of that you want to do the triangle foundation inside there you can kind of see the blue but like i said you want to make this twig don't upgrade this to stone because you're going to end up having to break all this. Normally what I do is a uh, large box right here. I'll put a box right here. And then I will put a small box right here. You don't want to get it too close. Like you don't want to have it too close forward. It's a little tight squeeze. That's why I recommend it for just like solos. But you can still access everything. If you're going to put a level 3 workbench in here. I would highly suggest putting the level 3 workbench down first. Before putting this the shelf this is pretty much the the two by one that i build whenever i start off you can turn this into a main base i can kind of maybe show how i do that i think you can just pick this up put the tier three here like i said you might have to do it before the shelf i always do it before the shelf you're gonna have to do it before the before the shelf i always do it before the shelf you can get a tier three in here so before you do the before you put the level three wait on the shelf before you do level the level three because it's not going to allow you to so just imagine that you already have a level three workbench there if i were to upgrade this to my main base which i normally 
do. I would normally add two more triangle foundations right here. It really just depends how I do this. I normally add a square foundation on these sides and add a triangular foundation. I want to add, whenever you go to upgrade this base, I highly recommend to put the, the shop fronts. I'm going to put a shop front right there, put a shop front right there. Then we're going to have another airlock goes right here. You can add a window frame right here if you want to. It doesn't really matter too much since you're going to already have that right there. You're going to have the shop front right there. I normally just put a wall right there. Adding your doors again. Do a little bit of that. Now another thing that I do, you can expand this different ways, but this is just one way that you can do it. Normally I will have, where's, I don't know where any of the the tool things are at in here. Different ways that I really go about doing this. I can, sometimes I'll put a shop front right here like this. And then you'd want to have a, uh, you want to have a double like sheet metal door this way, or you can have it going the other way. It doesn't really matter too much. If you already have the ladder hatch BP, then you can just uh, cover this up right here and then put your, your ladder hatch wherever it's at. Do your ladder hatch right there. Just gonna fill this up. You can have, uh, I normally, this thing in here, the research table in here, if you need to have things to research. I'll just have it someone like that. Then you can have your large boxes. You know, kind of do it. You might can uh, fit another box once you get like a door in. Have a couple of large boxes in there. I normally put my repair bench like right here somewhere. That's pretty much the basic part. Up here, when you go upstairs and pretty much just wall around the same thing and just have loot rooms up here. And if you want, you can keep going f upstairs and then have like a, a heli tower. You can use one of these triangle foundations to have another triangle ladder hatch or a normal ladder hatch. It really, it doesn't matter. Wherever you want to put it. Now, like right here, you can have, have your loot rooms up here. Get rid of that. You can have your loot rooms right here. And uh, then there's your loot rooms. Put garage doors there, whatever you want. Have another thing right here or something. And pretty much you can expand like upwards, but also you want to, uh, you want to honeycomb the base too. So make sure to honeycomb. Should look a little something like this. It's nothing crazy. Like I said, you can add, a, you can add like another floor for like a shooting floor if you're wanting to like take heli or something. You can add like a little heli tower going at the top, but this is pretty much kind of how I make my my base is every time. It's nothing crazy, but it's not really a crazy base. If you're too lazy to make another base and you just want to make your starter base out of like a two by one, expand it. That's pretty much the way that I do it. If you're going to make this as your main base and you're going to have a level three workbench, you want to put the level three workbench down here where it's supposed to go before putting the shelf. Because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to place it. Pretty much the the base like i said i could expand it a whole lot more but nothing crazy like i said um if you're just wanting to play it for like you know a couple of days this is more than enough got little spots to see if people are uh door camping here so like i said you can expand even further if you wanted to but it's up to you pretty much at this point stack it higher have a heli tower there's different ways that you can do this depending on how you expand this layer i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh yeah i it was kind of rushed mainly because my video editing software uh wants to keep crashing every time i go to edit a video the saved file for the program to to bring the video back up from where I had it saved at, gets corrupted every time the program crashes. So I have to restart the entire video every single time I go to edit. So yeah, sometimes I feel like I kind of rush videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can like it. You can subscribe to the YouTube. I try to upload at least once a week. And like always, you can follow my Twitch. That is my main platform. You can always go there. I go live every other day if not every day at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the link to my Twitch will be in the description. Hope to see some new people come by, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.